Hello guys, I'm Sunil Kumar Nerala from VFX Monks. This is my second tutorial for After Effects. In my previous tutorial, I had explained about layers in After Effects, how to create a new project and how to create a new composition and all. And today I'm going to teach you about layer properties in After Effects. From my previous tutorial, my friends told to mention the shortcuts for the things I do in After Effects. So, when I work with the project, you can find shortcuts at bottom left corner of every tutorial. So, let's start with the tutorial. <laughs> Basically, After Effects contains layers like solid layer, text layer, adjustment layer and all as explained in my previous tutorial but every layer in After Effects contains the default properties like transform node where with the transform node we can translate, rotate, scale, adjust the opacity, adjust the anchor point of the layer. We can also add some effects from the effects and presets to the layer we want and adjust the properties of that effect and the special thing is that we can animate the property of the layer so let's start with the creating a new composition as new project had already started like this for creating a new project you had to click the control plus alt plus n it will create project and uh, to create comp composition click control plus n that will give the composition settings uh, name it as you wish I'm creating animation so I, I named it as animation and uh, preset as you wish I'm using this HDTV 1080p 29.97 frame per second and uh, duration uh, you can set it to anything uh, I'm you know, giving 6 seconds uh, so and the background color is black uh, we can use it or not uh, so now let's create a new solid for creating solid we can go by here and click on solid or we can just click the control plus y on the keyboard and the solid settings will be uh, on the window and name it as you wish and uh, like I'm creating a new solid and the color of the color may be anything uh, I'm using some uh, for default usage now this is the solid layer we can find the transform node like uh, properties of the layer we can get from here this arrow uh, if we click on that arrow we can get the transform uh, node here and to see the what are the properties of the transform node click again on the arrow of the transform node and we can get this anchor point position scale rotation and opacity with this we can adjust the layer from this window uh, let's start with the anchor point uh, anchor point is nothing but changing the uh, this point like uh, it's the center point center point of the uh, layer where we can adjust that by uh, using this see uh, the layer is moving uh, is it's not just just like moving the layer it is changing the anchor point of that layer so uh, by default the anchor point will be set at the center of the layer uh, we can also use this anchor point by just pressing the A, A, A key on the keyboard letter A and we can we can get that anchor point uh, or we can go like here and transform node and anchor point we can change it. Uh, this will I will tell you how this anchor point is used in the uh, properties. Now going to position. Now the position will be transformed. Like uh, you saw that 
when we use this anchor point the anchor point is not moving the layer is only moving uh, from left to right but while using the uh, position the anchor point also uh, moving with the layer so for position we can use the p letter on the keyboard for positioning and now the rotation sorry scale uh, by using the scale property we can scale the scale the layer as we wish for that the shortcut for the scale property is s uh, now we can we can use uh, the S and adjust here. Uh, we can adjust from negative to positive uh, for the scale. Now the rotation it rotates the layer in clockwise and anti-clockwise directions. Uh, here uh, the degrees will be maximum of the 360. When it is 360, then this zero will be uh, one and the another thing is zeros like it is full complete rotation from the from what it is done for rotation it is r for rotating and finally the opacity opacity is just uh, adjusting the transparency of the layer we can by clicking the t on the keyboard we can get the opacity properties so by clicking a anchor point p positioning sorry p positioning s for scale r for rotation and t for opacity so now i like to uh, animate this layer by using these uh, properties uh, so let's uh, create uh, creating a position animation here uh, this little stopwatch icon by pressing it we can get the you can see uh, we can get this small keyframe which can be uh, adjusted to animate the layer now i created this and uh, a little icon from uh, 960 and 3 540 uh, positions of the layer uh, if if you want to animate just moving this by one frame Sorry, one second. And now moving the layer, we can get another keyframe. Now clicking uh, the space bar, the layer will be animated from the position we kept here and then to the keyframe layer like here. We can also get that now again coming to the anchor point the scaling and rotation will be depends on the anchor point where like uh, if we change the anchor point somewhere like here uh, then the rotation will be based on the anchor point see uh, here the anchor point is still and the rotation depends on the this anchor point where the rotation will be uh, occurred from the center of the anchor point to the end of the each each end of the uh, layer and also same same to the scaling the scaling will be depends on the anchor point if the center uh, anchor point is at the center of the layer then the rotation uh, scaling will be depends on the uh, scaling will be from the center to the uh, extreme end like it is uniformly scaling so now if we see this uh, if we scale this like this and then if we change the anchor point then scale the scaling is done from this center point now so that's all for the anchor point now going to the uh, effects and preset let me apply a uh, something like ramp apply it to the layer the 
ramp layer, ramp effect is applied to the layer and it is replaced with the uh, layers color solid color now it is full screen i'm uh, pressing the full screen shortcut like Control plus alt plus f it, it uh, allows the layer any layer in the after effects will be uh, snapped to the uh, fit to screen uh, so we can also adjust the ramp layer like we can change the ramp start of the ramp color of the ramp like that and then we can also change the uh, set property settings from here uh, uh, we also can also change the animation like we want it is just simple with the animation and all and we can also do anything what what we can do so that's all for now uh, this is my second tutorial and i'm sunil kumar nerella from vfx monks signing off let me see you in the next tutorial bye